From becoming one of the biggest predator catching accounts and heroes to becoming banned twice from YouTube and getting sued and arrested for the very thing he swears to protect, we'll be looking at the rise and fall of Colorado Pet Patrol. Make sure you watch till the end also. To be clear, I do support what Tommy does when it comes to catching. Tommy Fellows, who owns Colorado Pet Patrol, is located in Aurora, Colorado, where he has caught over a hundred people who try to meet kids online. Tommy started his channel in 2020 and massed to 150,000 subs, which were very dedicated fan base. Do you understand that every time you told people that you were a nonprofit for tax deduction purposes, that that was illegal? No, I didn't know it was legal. No. He is also memed for his love for rockstar drinks, which if you ever watch his live streams, he would always drink. Which isn't as harmless as him lying to his fans about donations and even punching a fan. Since 2021, Tommy has been telling his fans that he has a 501c3, which he lied about. Of, of course it is, Sofanta. It is, yes. Uh, um, I don't know. I, I have to show you, but I show it on my live. I, I have my certificate. It's just not outside. It's inside. But it is. And yes, you you can get a receipt. A 501 c 3 is a nonprofit organization where people can donate, and uh, it's basically charity. There's clips of him telling his fans that he does have a 501c3 until September 2022 where local Fox yeah, channel exposed him which is as bad as him punching a fan house, uh, November 3rd 2023 you know, he punched a supporter this happened after a live catch where a supporter came to his house and Tommy claims he was just protecting his family. Filed a claim that he was falsely accused during one of Tommy's live streams. Which is pretty bad, but not as bad as becoming blacklisted by your own local law enforcement. Weld County Sheriff's Department announced in March 2023 that they will no longer be arresting or coming to Colorado Pet Patrol's catches. Sergeant Dave Porter claims that Tommy brags about catching all these predators, but unfortunately only one has ever been prosecuted. Apparently Tommy, when requested for more evidence and chat logs, he would go radio silent. Tommy would allegedly offer partial or altered evidence to Weld County Sheriff's Department. Sergeant Porter also claims he's only doing it for the money, which from judging Tommy's past, wouldn't blame him. What I don't blame him for is channel getting banned in March of 2023, where YouTube claimed he was taken down for harassment and bullying, which is strange considering he was following guidelines where law enforcement is involved. And he's relatively professional in his catches. People have been guessing it is because of the recent past he brought to himself and that's the reason for the ban, such as bad press, lying to fans, and the whole sheriff's department refusing to work with him. That didn't stop Tommy from making a whole new channel with his wife's channel that went by Rich Life. But unfortunately for Tommy, he did an interview with Fox News where he publicly stated that he's using that account to ban invade YouTube, which YouTube saw and immediately took down his channel after the video aired. Then in September 2023, Tommy was arrested for child abuse against his own children, which is the complete opposite of what you expect from a predator catcher himself. But there's more to it than people think. Tommy's kids called 911 after Tommy kicked them out of their home due to them sneaking out. A week after his court appearance, Tommy was very unapologetic on his live stream. Here's what a fan has to say about it on Reddit. Wait, this psycho called the cause because the son wouldn't let him go through his phone? He says that like it's a normal thing. Not only that, but in December of 2023, Tommy is currently being sued by a man he caught claiming he falsely accused him and saying it wasn't him. Now, 
to keep in mind that you can be sued for anything right or wrong. The victim's case doesn't look very strong considering he showed up to the meetup as the person in the chat logs. Due to the lawsuit, his second channel, which he made a few months ago, got taken down by YouTube once again after the bad press. A fan on Reddit said, This lawsuit sounds like a pedophile crying because he got caught. Cops wouldn't have arrested him without seeing the graphic images and pictures. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is the end of Colorado Pet Patrol or do you see him making a comeback? Me personally, I don't know. When it comes to YouTube, I don't think he has much um, future here unless it's Facebook, Locals, or Rumble, which he can be very successful in over there. But I think he just wants to come to YouTube because it's the most uh, money maker, which I don't blame him. And I think a lot of the things he's getting crap for is um, uh, stuff that he doesn't really deserve, but also he brought upon himself because he did Fox News interviews, which Fox News just wants to make him look bad. And I mean, what do you expect? Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next documentary.